my understanding is you guys uh, are going back to the office. Um, we're watching a real divide develop on Wall Street between companies that are saying, you've got to get back to the office, we want you here, and other companies are saying, we can give you some flexibility. And it's turning out to be potentially a, a real division in terms of um, attracting talent. What, what, how do you see this developing? Are your plans changing? How critical do you think this is going to be for your firm to attract talent, the way you approach this? Well, you really, um, you had a great view of what people could accomplish at home. So what we found and, and what the Wall Street firms and trading firms are going to find is that you can't manage risk the same way people are trading and taking risk from home. You just don't have the same infrastructure of compliance, of oversight, of risk management. So having your front office personnel uh, in financial services work from an office. Now, they don't have to necessarily come to a New York office. We have regional offices. We have all suburban offices. We, I had them, I, I built them after 9-11 to, uh, I used them as a recruiting tool to have people come back to work. You know, you could work in the local New Jersey office, the regional suburban office, uh, Mondays and Fridays, and we made them perfect. So those offices, of course, are chock full right now, as you can well imagine. But I think front office going back to work is very important, and you're going to see that happen. Now, your support staff, your, your techs, your accountants, those people, if they've proven they can work from home, I think you're going to see a lot of people offer a more flexible environment for them, and that's going to be a competitive advantage for the people who offer that. So I think that's our model, which is our front office people are going to be working from the office, and, our, and all of our support staff, our tech people, our accounting staff, compliance, all, all the people who can lawyers, all the people who, who think for a living and, and, and do work on computers for a living, we can be more flexible. A lot has changed since the 80s, particularly the frustration over work hours. How are you responding to junior bankers who come to you and say that they are experiencing burnout? <laughs> you know, I, look, there are certain paths. Like, you imagine uh, doctors who are residents and they said they're burning out because they have to be in the hospital all the time. I mean, there's there's a path to becoming an investment banker that requires an enormous amount of work because the clients want documents turned to get their deal done by Friday, right? Like, like the Satellogic deal wanted to go public on Tuesday. And, and that meant everybody, including me, had to work all weekend to make sure we got all the documents signed. It's, it's sort of, you have to know that's coming. So bankers, young bankers who decide that they're working too hard, <laughs> they should choose another living. It's my view. These, these are hard jobs. You want to be a doctor, you're going to work hard when you're young. You want to be a banker, you're going to work really hard when you're young. You should know it going in and, and make those decisions in life. To, to complain about it after you got this great job, I don't know, it just seems a little silly to me.